and uh, here it is. So how it works is like this. Whilst you're casting your votes, these speakers will be playing uninterrupted commentary of the England versus Holland game, right? <laughs> Gets you in the mood. Here you can see over and over again Shearer's goal against Germany. Just watch it as many times as you like, forget about the rest. Um, you get a voting slip with the parties or teams, as they'll be known, on it. Looks like this. Uh, there's Labour, the Conservative with the Union Jacks around it, and Gaza's space where you make your mark. And uh, if you're still undecided, then there's this to help you. Shall I vote for Labour, um, uh, Liberal, Democrat, no, Conservative? Right, uh, Peter, I gather you had a bit of luck this week. I did, Amanda. I won some money on the lottery. Really? How much? £7 million. Pounds. Really? <laughs> no, obviously. But something very similar happened, because what it is, like millions of people, I waste money every week on lottery tickets, scratch cards, pools, coupons, horses, cockfighting, that kind of thing. <laughs> and I never win, obviously, because it's gambling. So instead of gambling everything away, I wondered, why not use that money to pretend I've won the lottery? <laughs> Just for a day. That way, I get to make lots of friends, I drink lots of champagne, I have a nice day out, and I find out if untold riches really do make you happy. So here's the day I decided to be Britain's luckiest man and how much it cost. Evening. Here are tonight's winning lottery numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the bonus number is seven. The jackpot is seven million pounds. Good. I appear to have won the lottery. Now, I've made a list here of all the things that I would do if I actually did win the lottery. So, number one... Yes! Yes! I won the lottery! I won the lottery! Yes! Right, that's good. Uh, number two is this. I'm so happy! And uh, where's my list? Right, page three girls, champagne, big jack. Yes! Come on, big Come on, Seven million pounds! You're all going to drink down the pub with me! La 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 I am rich! I am rich! La 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 Hello everyone! Hello there! Um, I won the lottery! The drinks are on me! So drink and be merry! Yes! Um, right, just go around and tell them all the drinks are on me. Are you going to be my, are you gonna be my friends forever? Yes! Seven million quid. Lucky thing. Seven million quid. I can't believe it. What does it feel like? Oh, it feels great. It feels... Well, I don't know. It feels... It, it, earlier it felt fantastic, but I don't know. I'm not... I'm not I don't know if I'm happy. Yet. Are, you, are you free tonight? No, I'll be safe. <laughs> Right, next on my list, a big, stupid car. <laughs> Excuse me, I actually am very, very rich. I am. I am very, very rich. I want to see the best car you've got here. Would you like to come over here with me? Yeah, we sure. Have this nice mm. How much is it? Just under a million pounds. Mm. It's a bit old, isn't it? It is a veteran vehicle. Well, you mean second-hand, basically. Yes. Well, you do, but, I mean, has it got an MOT? Yes, it has. It has. <laughs> this! This is the one. Yes, yes. Can I have this one? Have this one. Yes, you yeah. can. And I'll, um, I'll take it today, right? And can I bring the money in tomorrow? <laughs> I, I, I did win the lottery. Look, look, I mean, Sarah, have you got that? Ah, yeah. Just check. Look, um, can I give you this? And I'll bring the change in tomorrow. I'm afraid I can't. No, you must pay for the vehicle. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll take it for a test drive. Can I take it for a test drive? Yes, sir. And then I'll bring the cash tomorrow. I'll yeah? go and get the keys. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> yes. Then if all these parents employers, you can no longer work for them. Yes! I won the bloody lottery! I'm leaving! Bye! I'm gone! Bye! I can taxi anywhere! I can buy all the taxis here! I can! I can buy the whole bloody lot! You wouldn't get all my money in that thing! There's not enough room in that for all the rest of Oh my god, he's here. 
You see, winning the lottery isn't necessarily all good. Sometimes people can turn up from your past, dishing the dirt or asking for money. Now, when I was eight, I used to play with a boy in my street in Cardiff called Anthony Chiplin. I haven't seen Anthony in 24 years, but I got the BBC to persuade Anthony to turn up on my doorstep and ask for money. I really haven't seen this guy in that time. <laughs> Anthony, hello. Uh, did you get the script? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Pip. Remember me, Anthony Triplin. We used to play together. I won't beat around the bush, mate. I pissed away all my dosh and women in helicopters. <laughs> you know it anyway, I heard you were rolling in it these days and was wondering if you could spare a few bob. <laughs> well, thanks. Just through there. OK, final item on my lottery list. Suffer complete loss of privacy and become a virtual recluse. <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Now, in the week that the worldwide British beef ban was lifted no, in your... No, no! What? Stay off beef! What? Move off beef! Off beef? You remember what we discussed at half-time? Oh, that's that's right. Right. That's oh, sorry. No, no, that blow that's our manager. He's what? been brought in to shut yeah, okay. up the show. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to move into space. Use okay. your wings! All right, all right. Use... right. Well done. Well, stay on major! On major, right. You're stuck in! OK. Uh, on to John Major now. Yes! Well done! Thanks. And uh, back to the Tory election campaign. Now, they're insisting that no dirty tricks will be involved, though they did send this footage to the Daily Mail, which they say clearly proves that Labour intend to put up taxes. We do want to raise taxes. <laughs> so. So that's what Labour's dealing with. They expect trouble and leaked plans of the Tories' poster campaign reveal a cunning strategy. Uh, here's the first one. We've all seen it. Yes, it hurt. Yes, it worked. Now, the Tories think the public uh, will like this sort of catchy attempt at rhyming. See, hurt and work, very clever. Uh, but more than that, they think the public will like the powerful combination of humility and assertion, or subdom, as it's known. So, the next poster is out in July, and it repeats this new honest approach with, yes, this man's a right-wing nutter, yes, the lottery's worth a flutter. By August, they'll get cocky with... Yes, we released dangerous schizophrenics. Yes, a hundred more sales jobs have been announced by Phoenix. <laughs> September, and the battleground will be law and order with a searingly honest poster of junior minister Stephen Norris saying... Yes, I rogered five other women when married to my wife. Yes, the minimum sentence for armed robbery will be life. <laughs> We move on to October, and there's an anti-European message from disgraced former Minister Sir Nicholas Scott saying, Yes, I drove over a French child when drunk then ran. <laughs> yes, we got Europe to lift its British beef export ban. <laughs> an election will then be called in November, and the strategy will change. John Major will be relaunched in the form expensive market research tells them will most appeal to the electorate, with this. <laughs> uh, but the Tory dirty tricks will continue. Here's what happened when the Tories tried to get John Prescott to swear on national television by strapping a yapping dog to his heels. It's not the aim and objective of the Labour Party, I doubt it ever it's was, to take over the total ownership and the means of <laughs> 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 Word, isn't it? Yes, it is common ownership in that. <laughs> it's very much interchangeable in this debate. It never was. You've never the believed end. in that. <laughs> well, I've never interpreted it. <laughs> it would did. it be enough to update clause four merely by adding to it? <laughs> well, no, because. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You've got to remember our game plan. Yeah, yeah. Be funny. I will be funny. funny enough. I am. I'm keeping it topical. Yeah, but I don't want topical. Yeah, you do keep it topical. I've read all the, the papers. Half. You were trying to be sardonic and whimsical. Be sardonic. Just funny. You're trying to be a bounce on the left and on the right. Okay, I'm trying to dodge Go the cameras. Okay. Now, come on, I, come on. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> this week, uh, Gillian Shepherd published education plans to allow children in every town to go to grammar school and get beaten up by kids from the local comprehensive. <laughs> on a regular basis, over seven or eight years, develop a sense of insecurity with other people, and then try to overcome this by telling jokes and ending up in a career in comedy. 
The Education White Paper allows for greater selection of pupils. From now on, all schools will select 10% of its intake and place these cleverer pupils above ground in daylight classes, <laughs> while the bottom 90% will learn in darkened rooms underground, <laughs> where they'll be encouraged to use their initiative to burrow upwards at night and use any books left lying around in the dark. <laughs> <laughs>